Bones Big Balls, are they actually a superior bearing or should you just stick with the old faithful, the Bones Reds? So just like the Bones Reds are the Chinese equivalent of the Bones Swiss, made with lower grade steel with the same formula but manufactured in China, so it's cheaper for the consumer, our skateboarders, these Bones Big Balls are the Chinese equivalent of the Bones Swiss Six Balls. So same formula as the Super Swiss Six Balls, but outsourced to China made with cheaper steel at a better price point for us consumers once again. So the day of filming this, Bones Reds are 35 Australian dollars, these are 45 Australian dollars, so they're $10 more expensive. And the other big difference that sets these apart from the Bones Reds are these have six ball bearings rather than seven, but each six of these ball bearings in these bearings are 17% bigger. That's basically the only difference between the Reds and the big ball Reds. So having six balls rather than seven, you're reducing the weight, you're making the bearing lighter. Plus, because each ball bearing is 17% bigger than the standard ball bearings, it's a bigger ball that's rolling. So there's less friction, you pick up more speed, hold your speed better as well and they claim to not get as much dirt and gunk into your bearings because there's not as much space inside of the bearings to get any dirt in because the balls are bigger so basically the bigger balls makes them more durable less friction and roll faster for longer that's what the claims are anyway so i was riding my bones reds for about eight months now i've just swapped them out for these six ball bearings i know you guys are going to hate this but i always pop the caps off of my bearings so the caps are popped they look sick actually the bigger balls look cooler but i've come to the one of the crustiest skate parks that i know of to see if the bigger ball actually help me roll faster and keep my speed. This test wouldn't do anything at a smooth skate park, so I had to come to a crusty one. So I'm here at Dulwich Hill Skate Park. This skate park has been extended twice already. It originally started off as this snake run bowl here, which is ultimate crust at the moment. Then they built the actual Dulwich Skate Park, which is right behind me here, which is also old and super crusty. And then eventually they built the extension off to the side, which is what I'm most excited to skate because there's a cool kink rail and these cool ledges and stuff around too. But let's first get a little warm up, cruise around the park, see if I can feel any difference if these actually roll fast or if they're any different. And then we'll talk about whether or not it's worth getting the bigger balls or if you should just stick to the Bones Reds because they've always been reliable. They last forever and they're only $35. So it's so much value for how cheap they are. But let's cruise around and see how these are feeling.
So I was about to give you guys an update on these bearings and say that I noticed nothing different. You should save your money and just stick with the Bones Reds. But I just skated the rough side of the skate park for like two or three hours just then. And I totally forgot that I had new bearings because my board was skating just as fast as usual. So if I kept the Reds on that I already had, I would have noticed that part of the skate park was super slow because it's so much more rough and it slows you down. And I'm back on the 99A Spitfire radials at the moment. So even a 99A at this kind of ground is super slow, super rough, but it didn't feel rough to me at all. I actually forgot that I had new bearings in because I was just skating so smoothly. So that's definitely a positive note for these bearings that I was skating this rough side of the park for two or three hours. I was holding my speed. It didn't even feel that rough or slow. So for me to skate this rough ass skate park and not feel like it was slow or rough, that's massive for these bearings. Like that's amazing. So they're actually feeling really good. They're helping me keep my speed. The balls being 17% bigger than the standard ball bearings might actually be making a difference. There's less friction. The bearings are lighter and that's probably why I'm feeling like I'm riding smooth and fast on this rough ground. So I just battled that board slide up and down that rail just there. I'm super happy that I got it. I don't know if anyone's done that before, but I'm happy that I did it. So I'm going to head back to the smaller section where I warmed up, get a bit more of the flat bar and the ledges out of there. I know these bearings are good on rough ground now and they hold their speed. So I'm just going to continue the session, see what other tricks I can come up with in the newer section and give you an update of how these bearings feel by the end of the session. So we didn't get too much skating done after that because it was just getting way too hot out there. We ended up sitting under the shade for about an hour and then leaving. But the fact that those bearings kept me rolling pretty fast and smoothly on the really rough side of the skate park, that's a massive positive for those big ball bearings. Now I've been skating them for another two weeks since filming that video and my board has been consistently fast and smooth. But for the $10 extra that the big balls are compared to the Bones Reds, I'm not sure if there's much of a comparable difference. Like there's nothing that would make you want to go and get the big balls over the reds. The only people I think that would benefit the most is people that skate really fast. Like if you're a gnarly hill bomb type of guy, if you skate transition really fast, or if you're skating street spots and doing lines fast, or even transition, skating really fast, pumping around in transition, you might benefit from these bearings the most because the bigger ball bearings are supposed to reduce the friction and allow your wheels to continuously roll fast without burning them out. So someone like me, I'm never going to skate fast enough to blow out a set of the reds bearings. I might go fast at some times, which is really rare but I doubt I'm creating enough friction in my bearings to blow them out. So for me and everyone else, like every general skateboarder, the Bones Reds are top quality and they're gonna last you forever if you take care of them. If you do wanna pay an extra $10 to go up to the big balls bearings, then don't let me stop you. I'm actually liking them. I'm gonna to continue to skate these until they eventually do blow out if they ever do. But the Reds I was riding just before these had already lasted me eight months with no problems. So I doubt I'm ever gonna have any trouble with the big balls bearings. But just because they are good doesn't mean they're better than the reds or they're necessary to go up and pay more money for. So that's going to have to be your decision to make. I'm loving them at the moment, but after a few weeks of skating them, there's no like comparable difference that I'm feeling. So I can't sit here and tell you guys to go and get the big balls bearings because they're way better than the reds are. Besides, if you are a high speed skater or you take a lot of impact where you need the bigger ball bearings inside to reduce the friction of the speed that you're going, or if you're someone that blows out bones reds a lot, which I don't think anyone does, having the bigger ball bearings are going to help the bearing last and be stronger. So it's just something to consider. So I had a fun session at that old skate park. I had way more fun than I expected in that old like BMX style section. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the Bones Reds video I did right here. Going into a few facts about the bearings and why they were created and why they are so good. So check that one out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.